Hello everyone, in today's video, I have some updated tips and suggestions to prevent and improve the appearance of stretch marks. My name is Angelina, welcome to my video, and I'm sure that if you suffer from stretch marks, whether new or old, this video can help you get rid of them for good. This is my result after trying one of the tips I'll talk about in this video, so watch until the end. Stretch marks are linear depressions in the skin that occur when the skin undergoes rapid stretching. We don't exactly know why they occur, but it's probably a combination of genetics and hormonal influences. They often appear during pregnancy or puberty, as well as with weight fluctuations, such as weight loss or weight gain. In my case, they appeared during my pregnancy, mainly in the belly and breasts. Another scenario that can cause stretch marks is if you're using a medicated cream with steroids and applying it to the skin for a long period of time. It can thin the skin and cause stretch marks. This is an adverse side effect of steroids, so if you have a steroid cream, make sure it's safe to use and consult your dermatologist. Don't use it haphazardly, as this is a bad side effect that can occur with improper or prolonged use of steroid creams. There are two phases of stretch marks. Initially, they are red to light pink, maybe a bit purple, depending on your skin tone, and they are raised. But over time, they turn white, and when you run your hand over the skin, you'll feel a slight depression. When it comes to improving the appearance of stretch marks or preventing them, it's important to understand that no procedure or product will work the same way for everyone. These tips I'm going to talk about one in particular, got rid of my stretch marks completely, and the others I discovered through research and conversations with others who have also dealt with stretch marks. Before discussing the tips, another important point is addressing stretch marks early. The stretch marks in the phase I mentioned, when they are red, pinkish, and raised, respond better to these treatments, and the final result of a stretch mark will be better if you try to treat it as soon as possible. When the stretch marks are already depressed and white, it's much more difficult and resistant to treat them in that phase, but not impossible. If you have old stretch marks, these tips can still work for you. However, know that addressing them early is crucial for a more effective and rapid treatment. Something I've learned when it comes to improving the appearance of stretch marks is that applying a moisturizer can really help. Many people have reported that different types of moisturizers have made a big difference for them. Well, what seems to be the case is that it's not just the action of massaging the moisturizer alone that can help. So, when applying the moisturizer to the areas where you have stretch marks or are trying to prevent them, it seems that taking the time to massage it really makes a difference, rather than just applying it haphazardly. Apply the moisturizer and do circular massages until you feel that the skin has absorbed all the product. This will make the moisturizer work better, and the act of massaging will make a big difference in improving stretch marks. Some small studies specifically analyzing certain moisturizers and their effects on stretch marks have shown an 85% improvement in the appearance of stretch marks when doing circular massages in the stretch mark area. By doing the circular massage, you are activating blood circulation in the skin. However, we don't have anything big enough to say for sure. But as I mentioned before, red and raised stretch marks are more likely to respond to any treatment, so it makes sense that a good quality moisturizer with active ingredients that prevent stretch marks, combined with massages, can help at this stage. It helped me a lot. Another thing that can help is the use of retinoic acid. Retinoic acid is derived from vitamin A and is known to increase collagen production in the skin as well as cell renewal. Therefore, it makes sense that if you're using retinoic acid on red stretch marks, it can help increase cell renewal and collagen production, thus improving the appearance of stretch marks. However, it's important to remember that retinoic acid is a medication and should not be used without medical guidance. It can be prescribed by a dermatologist and needs to be used with caution as it can cause skin irritation and sensitivity. So, always consult a healthcare professional before using any product with retinoic acid. Another option is the use of aesthetic procedures such as microneedling or laser therapy. 
These treatments involve stimulating the skin to produce more collagen and improve the appearance of stretch marks. These procedures are performed by healthcare professionals and require several sessions to achieve significant results. Again, it's important to consult a dermatologist or aesthetic specialist to determine which procedure is most suitable for you and to receive the necessary follow-up during the process. However, if you, like me, don't want to resort to expensive and often painful aesthetic procedures, I will now talk about what I have been doing to get rid of my stretch marks. I use Conception's Intensive Stretch Mark Therapy Cream. In two months of use, this is my result with this cream. I saw an advertisement for it and decided to buy and test it to see if it really worked, and I was surprised by the results. It contains scientifically advanced and clinically proven ingredients that combine to significantly fade and even erase unpleasant stretch marks from the breasts, thighs, stomach, buttocks, upper arms, and all areas of the body where stretch marks appear. It is much more than just a skin moisturizer, it is a treatment with great cost-effectiveness and no side effects or pain. The ingredients in intensive stretch mark therapy help increase your natural production of collagen and elastin. It is this increase in collagen and elastin production that brings balance to the dermal matrix of our skin and allows the skin to begin healing and renewing itself. Additionally, it also restores skin elasticity, fades purple and red discoloration of stretch marks, evens out the skin tone, and smooths grooves. For me, it was the best choice, and I'm sure it can be for you too. If you're interested in purchasing intensive stretch mark therapy cream, I'll leave the link to the official website in the video description. I bought mine through that link and got a great discount and free shipping. Click there and get yours with a discount and free shipping too. Lastly, I would like to emphasize that each person is unique, and what works for one person may not work for others, but I'm sure that with these tips, you can also get rid of stretch marks like me. Additionally, improving stretch marks can take time and require patience and consistent care. I hope these tips are helpful to you. Good luck with your skincare routine, and remember to always consult a professional before starting any treatment. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and if you want to know more about my treatment with Skinception's Intensive Stretch Mark Therapy Cream, just comment as well. As I mentioned before, I will leave the official website link in the description and the first comment. If you're interested, this is a good opportunity to buy it at a lower price with free shipping, just like I did. Good luck with your treatment, and see you next time.